Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. It's Tracy Steen. All right, this beginner workout, we're focusing on total body and it's going to be a strength workout. So I'm gonna target a little bit of everything, all of those major muscles. All right, our format's gonna be 40 seconds of work with 15 seconds in between. We're gonna repeat each circuit for two rounds to get a little progressive overload. And I'll start you with a warm up, and we'll end with a cool down. Grab a variety of dumbbells for the workout today. I'm also gonna use something to sit on. So grab a chair, a bench box, something stable. All right, are you ready to move daily? Me too, let's do it. I'm gonna put my watch, I'm gonna hit that strength training button there. The knees are soft, let's do some front and back bends to warm things up. All right, are you ready to work hard? Lift some weights. Well, we are gonna do this in endurance. So that means I want you to lift a little bit lighter, but the volume is gonna be higher, okay? So more reps with lighter weights, and that can still cause tremendous muscle fiber recruitment. Okay, bring a cross right here. It is a way that you can build muscle. The key is that you have to fatigue the muscle. So the weight has gotta be challenging enough where you feel that muscle start to fatigue toward the end of the set, okay? So I will remind you when you should be feeling it. And if you don't feel it, then just bump your weight up to the next amount, all right? Good, some front pushes and step and push. We're just trying to increase our heart rates right here. Get the blood flow going, release that synovial fluid. and push to the ceiling. Good, take it a little wider, knees are soft, and we're reaching down to tap our toe. If you can't reach, tap your knee. side to side lunge. Just lengthening through that inner thigh. Nice and slow here. That is an area sometimes we don't stretch enough and so it can be tight. Don't want to pull it. Just a few more. Nice. Let's go to a single side arm circle right here. Switch directions. And switch your side, big circle. Switch directions. And hands up to the side, one hand behind your head, one behind your back. Now switch, and switch. Nice way to warm up the shoulder girdle here. Click, click on my wrist. <laughs> click, click, click. A few more. In four, three, two, and one. Hands on the shoulders, and we'll just finish off with a torso twist here, and then we'll get you going. Right. There's the first circuit. Are you ready? Let's do it. We're starting with that bench or chair or a box. Sit down. We're gonna do some sit squats. Feet are shoulder width apart. Shin is perpendicular to the floor. You're standing straight up and don't plop down. Here we go. So nice sit squat, reach the hips back. Try not to put your hands on your legs. Stay tall, shoulders are back. Go 
going into a curl press. Now, you can go pretty light, fives, eights. I'll just grab the fives here for our warm-up round. And maybe go to the eights, next one. Shoulders back, curl and press here. All right. Halfway. Keep your eyes straight forward. Don't look up at the dumbbells, okay? Press. That's it. Okay. I'm just gonna hold one of these fives for the plie squat. We're gonna turn the toes out, shoulders are back. We're gonna plie down, little pulse, and stand. Feel free not to go all the way down if you can't. So even here, a little, little, and up is good. Or you can drop it low if you have that available to you. to some shoulders. You can go ahead and grab your lighter weights. We're gonna do a lateral raise to a high front. So out to the side, up to the front, and down, stick your chest out. So you're here and up, down, that's it. Don't rock the torso. And each time you come to the bottom, I want you to stick your chest out right here. And up, keep those knees soft. Good volume on that. I might go up a little bit next round. Back to the top, back to your sit squat. I'm gonna hold these fives on my shoulders this time. Again, straight up and down. Push straight up. Reach your hips back. Okay, moving to that curl press. So, test the waters. Were the threes good, bump to fives. Were the fives good, bump to eights. Or you can stay where you're at. Shoulders back and curl here and press. Elbows stay close to the body. Moving to your plie. You can hold the weight or do this without. Remember, shallow or deep, whatever works for you, but toes are out and the knees are over the toes. Shoulders back and we drop and pulse or deep, drop and pulse.
All right, moving to that lateral front raise. Twos, threes, maybe fives. All right, shoulders back, out to the side, and then that salute position. Let's lift right here. High front, down and stick your chest. So it should be still. You're just moving that shoulder girdle out to the side. High front, slow down. Nice work. A little water break right here. So grab a drink. Take a look at the screen. There's the next circuit. Grab your weights and get ready. We're going to take it to the ground for this next round. I'm going to take my 10s down there and my eights, but you take a look at the screen and see maybe what you use. We'll be down there for the whole circuit, so join me on the ground. Starting with a single side chest press. I'm gonna hold my tens, wide on your back. You could, of course, use a bench. Both dumbbells are up, and you'll single side down over the chest. All right, both up, and we single, and we single. Now, look at your wrists. I want you to make sure they're locked and neutral. Okay, you don't want them bent. Just out to the side, that's it. Stay over your chest. A lot of people migrate to over their face or head. But you're working the chest, okay? We don't want that upper shoulder to be targeted as much. Nice, all right, lighten your weight. Now we're gonna go to an overhead tricep extension. So palms are facing, and we're gonna go single, and single on this one as well. Here we go, so left and right, slow and controlled, and watch your head. Now, you're just bending at the elbow here. You're not moving that shoulder back. Okay, not this time. We're just bending. The elbow is the only joint that's moving. Very good, let's go into some abs. So set those down. We're gonna do the bicycle. You could do a full version right here. I'm gonna do modified with an elbow to knee tap, just like that. Support your head with your hands, but don't pull at your head. So it's left and tap, right and tap. Good, try to reach that elbow to the outside of your knee, if you can. All right, hands are under your bottom for this flutter kick. And it's basically one large flutter, just like this. All right, support that lower back with your hands under your bottom, head on the ground, and you're here and here. I said head on the ground, but sometimes I like to lift my head up. It doesn't hurt my neck, it might hurt yours. This feels better on my lower back though, but you do whatever works for you. Lying down is good as well. And then if you feel like you need to give your knees a hug for a second, you're just here, okay? And then you just pop back in as soon as you can. Go your pace. All right, back to the start. 
Grabbing your weights for that single side chest press. Both are up, singles down on your back. Left and right. I want you to flex your pec muscle at the top so you squeeze. Straighten the arm and squeeze. Almost there, keep it going. Over the chest. Nice. Let's grab those lighter weights for our tricep, single side. We're gonna do a single, single, double now. Okay, we'll just add a different dimension. Both are up, single, single, double together here. So you're single, other side. All right, now both together, watch your head and press. Single, single, double. Okay, back to your ab work. We'll go to the bicycle. Okay, elbow on the outside of the knee. Reaching. Tapping down if you'd like. And you're here. And we'll stay down here, finishing off with that flutter kick. Okay, hands under your bottom. You could do bent knee, heel down if that other way was too difficult, okay? There's a modification right here. Otherwise, your straight legs here. Last 10 seconds, then I'll give you 30 seconds to make sure that when you stand up, you're not dizzy. You can grab some water, and we'll move right into our back exercises. All right, very nice. Come to standing. Grab your chair or bench or box. We'll use that in the next set. All right, starting with our one-arm row, I've got a 12-pound dumbbell. I'm gonna hinge forward at the waist with a flat back, but you could put a knee and hand on a surface if you have that. Otherwise, you're here, and I'll call half. Shoulder back, and we drive. That's it. So bring the elbow to the ceiling. Again, back is nice and flat. Last one on this side and switch, stagger your stance, and lift. Okay, we'll grab some lighter dumbbells for your bicep curl. Maybe fives, eights, or tens. I'm gonna use Eights here. We're sitting on the edge, knees together, 
and you're gonna hit a hammer curl with a turn. So we curl and turn and squeeze. Make sure your knees are together so you can bring that weight up. And if you don't have something where you can sit and it's easy to stand right here, that's fine too. The benefit to sitting sometimes is that you can't bob your knees, you can't push your hips forward to help the weight up. You're relying solely on those biceps here. And that's the name of the game. All right, set those down. Let's go to our single leg extension. And again, we're gonna bend over. Knee is soft, and we're gonna kick that leg out behind. Just bring it up to 90 degrees and squeeze the glute. Here we go. And lift, straight leg. I'll call half. I don't want you to arch the back, so if you can only bring it up a little ways, do that. Squeeze that glute. Nice. One more here, and switch your side. We're gonna sit again and do some calf raises. I'm gonna hold these weights right on my knees. We're gonna go down to the floor with our heels and then up to our tiptoes. All right, sit tall and lift nice and rapid and up. For round two, if you had something like a step where your feet could go on, that would be ideal because then you could dip your heels low too. Get that full range of motion. Now we've just got the top range, which is great as well, but just lift and squeeze. That's it. Now I'm feeling it. Good head to toe workout here. All right, let's go back to your one arm row. So how did that weight feel? I'm gonna stick with the 12, I think. You could go up or down. And remember, I'll call half, and lift right here, drive it. Last one on this side, and switch. I'm getting a good 10 per side here myself, so that feels good. All right, into your seated bicep curl. Get that 12 there, sticking with eights. Go on the diagonal, shoulders back, elbows in, curl and turn and squeeze. You also don't want to swing it at the bottom. It's just going to come to that dead stop right here. Then you hit that bicep. Let's stand for our glute kickback. We're hinging forward, bringing that back leg up, and squeezing your glute. I'll call half on the leg. And we kick and lift. Good, nice rapid fire here. Three, two, one, switch legs. Woo! Feel 
Feel that glint cheek. I do, I do. <laughs> Don't let your hip rise up. Like don't rotate. Keep facing the ground. Let's have a seat for our calf raises. Nice and tall. Up to your tiptoes. And we raise and raise. This is a soleus raise. This muscle is the only muscle in the body that only attaches at one joint, which is the ankle joint. Then it attaches halfway through the calf. When you're standing, you work the long gastrocnemus, which attaches behind the knee, but this is a shorter muscle. Good for walking. Very good. All right, take a look at the screen. There's your last circuit. I've got my lighter weights. We're gonna do a double knee, single press right there. All right, good volume on the shoulders because we're holding them in that isometric contraction the whole time. Let's work and you're here and up, here and up. All right, now bring them down, roll those shoulders out. We're gonna front punch, single, single, and double front punch there. Stick with singles if you need to, or eliminate the weights if you need. So single, single, now double here. Two singles, two doubles. Good, into those cardio kicks. Working a little glute action here and some shoulders again. You can keep the weights in if you need. Alternating that kick. Let's work and we lift and lift. That's it. Again, high volume on the shoulders and arms right now. Tap that out, roll your shoulders back. Now, a little step behind, tap. Nice press out for the triceps here. I want you to straighten that arm and flex. Alternating, step tap, step tap. Straighten the arm to flex the triceps. Drop your shoulders low.
All right, one more round. Change weights if you need or eliminate them. We're going to that single press, double knee. Stay tall. Here we go. Here, up, here, up. Now the shoulders are feeling that volume. That's adding up because we're holding that isometric contraction. Excellent. Woo. All right, into the butt kick, single, single, double with a punch or front press. Get those legs working as well. We'll kick up the heart rate. So you're single, single, two doubles. Punching or pushing right over the chest. All right, I want you to drop your shoulders away from your ears. Lots of people shrug on this, no shrugging. Very good, into that cardio kick with the opposite hand to foot. You could kick it out in front as well if you'd like. Ten seconds. Again, good fatigue on those arms. If you're holding light, light weights, you should be feeling this. Very good. Last exercise. Step back behind. Tricep kick, kick out, rather. All right. Let's work. And you're here. And here. You're slightly behind to the diagonal, slightly out to the side on this guy. Push. Doing well, folks. Halfway, last 20 seconds. Let's work. In three, two, one and done. You move daily in your total body strength workout with higher volume. That was great. Join for a stretch right here if you can. Nice work, everyone. Find a wall or a chair or something to open up that chest on, okay? We want to turn away from the wall and stretch into that pec minor. Again, an area that is very tight on most of us. If you use a phone or a computer, you're tight here. I can feel it. Feels like an elastic band going chink. <laughs> it's not good. Switch sides, which is why it's so important to add those daily stretches in at your desk. Okay, I've got actually a desk stretch sequence. I should share that because it's really good just to throw in the middle of the day. Why wouldn't you just stretch things out, right? Let's hinge at the waist, put a knee or an elbow on your knee other hand here, and you're just going to reach up and push your thumb to the ceiling. Give that wrist a nice roll there at the top here too. Yeah, so often we're just so very, very tight. Switch sides. I actually filmed it for this group of truck drivers <laughs> uh, who spend all their time seated, 
for their work. And then when they're not seated, you know, if they're doing paperwork, they're seated at their desk. And so we had arms behind the back stretch. We had this little sequence that we did for them that they could do at the truck stop. <laughs> so they could just stretch things out. And wow, I would, I feel like I would die if I had to sit for my job that long. I know my hip would be on fire. I have um, a bit of calcified tendinopathy in my hip and sitting is the worst thing for it. Like when I flew over to Croatia recently, uh, you know, that 12 hour flight is just painful. I got an aisle seat so that I could get up and down and walk the aisles and do some high knees. <laughs> I'm sure people thought I was nuts, but I just really don't like sitting. So I have a standing desk. Uh, I stand most of the day, which I feel has really increased my NEAT, my non-exercise activity thermogenesis. So that's fantastic. Uh, it also just helps my posture. I feel like I can work on my posture a little bit more. Arms back, thumbs down, tilt your neck. And it just again, just feels so much better on my joints and ligaments. Now you could even, if it benefited you, wear a weighted vest while you're walking around your house that would add weight bearing to your body. So if you're trying to increase your bone density, I have a girlfriend who actually wears a weighted vest around the house and it's a great idea to bear weight on those ligaments, joints, and then of course on the bones, right? If they're under pressure, they've got to adapt and recruit and formulate and grow stronger. So that's, that's a really good idea, I think, as we're aging. Uh, let's go into a glute stretch. You can hold onto something. I'm gonna cross out the leg and just sit down into that, stretching that glute muscle in the back. Very good. Yeah, right now it's all about prevention. <laughs> for me, it's doing all of the things that I can for mobility, for strengthening, for increasing muscle, right? Increasing bone density uh, to, in order to decrease disease span and increase my lifespan. So that if I'm living longer, I'm living longer, healthier, right? That is the goal. That's the target, folks. I know it's your target too. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. Thanks for moving daily with me. I'll see you in the next workout.